Hey everyone, this is Lars Luron here. Uh, some of you guys might might know me as uh, one of the devs from Mushroom Kingdom Fusion. Well, I'm not here regarding that today. No, I'm going to be trying a Let's Play. Let's Play of what? Why Commander Keen won? Invasion of the Vorticons. Well, technically it's marooned on Mars. Invasion of the Vorticons is only the first, uh, first group of three. <laughs> I suppose you could call it. Why am I doing a Let's Play? Well, why the hell not? I mean, uh, my brother, Dr. Flard, has been doing some, and he seems to be having fun, so... What the fuck? But, yeah, I decided to start with, uh, the original Commander Keen, because, you know, being an old geezer and all, I pretty much grew up with all these old DOS games, you know, like Commander Keen, Secret Agent, Cosmos Cosmic Adventure, all that sort of stuff, so... Seems fitting. So, without further ado, let's get this train wreck a rolling. New game. Yes. Uh, the first game takes place on Mars. And for some reason, the main character can breathe despite only wearing a football helmet. Not a space football helmet, just a regular football helmet. Alright, what do we got here? Four lives. No gun, no anything. Beautiful! And we can't really go any further here, so we got nothing other to do than to go into this this domed area here. Oh god, it's an alien! Nah, this, this little bastard just, uh, just took a Yorp, I think it's called. They're pretty much harmless. All they do is wander around idiotically and bump into you and push you around. They can't actually hurt you. And then you, for some reason, you can pull a Mario and stomp on their heads and knock them out a little bit. Now we have our first ray gun, which I'm not going to waste because there's nothing worth shooting in here. Ah, yes. And, of course, the signs we have in the standard galactic alphabet, which I can still read for some reason. <laughs> I guess I never forgot how to read it since uh, the olden days. <laughs> the sign here says, uh, "This is neat." You can you can kind of make part of it out because you know the all they did was replace English letters with like weird symbols, and half them still resemble the original letters. You can kind of make out the you know the S's and the T's and the I's. Uh, all right, I don't have the pogo stick yet. Um. Yeah, for some reason there's candy scattered all over the place. No explanation, it just it's just there. And and also pizza. Um uh, anyway for, for those of you who might not be familiar with it, uh, the story of this is basically you're playing as um Billy Blaze, who's a child genius. Like at the age of ten he has an he has an IQ of I think it's like 314, they said it was. And just for the hell of it, he's went out and he's built himself his own rocket ship. Out of, like, appliances and spare scrap metal and stuff like that. Like soup cans and stuff. He built himself a bean with bacon mega rocket. And for whatever reason, he decided to come to Mars. Where the local alien population, the Vorticons, for whatever reason, decided they didn't like him. And so rather than blow him out of the sky of his superior technology, he decided to just take off with parts of this ship, so we gotta get him back. And I see I have vaporized this city and replaced it with a giant square that says done. <laughs> My power is so great I can reduce cities to giant blue squares. See, now I could go to any of these three, but we're gonna go up here first, because there's something here that we need to get. The pogo stick. Not just any pogo stick. According to that sign over there, it is the holy pogo stick. Doesn't look that holy to me. 
Oh, that's close. Don't want to go to the exit just yet. Ah, come on, get up there. Yes. We have invisible block technology here. You can kind of see it by those dots that are in the upper left corner of them. Ah! And for some reason, this shrine is on fire! Oh, well, I guess now I have a second pogo stick. Yeah, no reason whatsoever. It's just on fire. Oh, yes, and here's one of the other aliens. The one of the more hostile ones, the Garg. Yeah, though we're, we're going to be seeing a lot of those around here. I could shoot it, but it'd just be wasting a bullet. I can just bounce around it. That stupid bastard! Come get me now. And now we're done with that. So, where do we go next? I suppose we might as well get this other little shrine out of the way. These things are generally pretty pointless. Dark. With, you know, just dark with an occasional statue at the end. And the statues generally give us, like, helpful information. Like this one says, It is too bad you cannot read the standard galactic alphabet, human. Well, joke's on you, sucker. I can read every word. God, I'm a dork. <laughs> so might as well, well say no to this tin can looking place here, see what we can find inside. Sign says die. And they did. How convenient. <laughs> I guess aliens around here like to follow the signs. You. Why are you still alive? Why didn't you die? You're not obeying the sign! And apparently Garg has locked himself in the bathroom. That's just great. Oh yes, one of the other hazards around here in this game. The giant alien clams of death. You can't kill those. You can only just stay the hell away from them and hope you don't get eaten. they're not eating like the candy sitting around. I don't know. We're just sitting there munching away at nothing. Hmm. Yeah, can't can't bite me now, can you? Ooh, bear. And pizza for some reason. <laughs> There's just pizzas sitting around out here. What? No, you will not escape me. You will not escape me that easily. <laughs> you are mine now, bear! Victory is mine! Yeah, I... Uh, while I'm doing this Let's Play, I really gotta make it a point to try and uh, suppress my normal, like, obsessive-compulsive urges to grab every single point item in the game. Ah, yeah, the butler rob. Yes, those the the butler robots. They're pretty much harmless too, but they, they shove you a lot more than the green googly eyed bastards. Because that's what butlers do. They shove people around. Clearly. Doesn't look like he's butlering much of anything there. Just wandering around in one place. Like you. Make yourself useful, robot. Get me a drink. Fetch me a beer. Oh, crap! Oh, I just got kung fu kicked. <laughs> oh. I did not... Uh, I should have seen that coming. I, I just got killed by Vorticon there. They're the uh, aliens I mentioned at the beginning that stole all the machine parts. Or the ship parts. <laughs> and I just got mauled by one. I got mauled something proper. <laughs> So now I gotta go find find all that crap I I just collected all over again. I can probably skip grabbing all the points items, but I need that I need that key card. I kind of need that thing. 
Vorticons. <laughs> the Vorticons are, are annoying bastards to kill, because they take like four shots, and the entire time you're trying to fight them, they're jumping around like freaking idiots. So, yeah, it, it can, it can get kind of tricky to hit them. around all over the place. <laughs> well, yeah, candy and and Pepsi. <laughs> I mean, they, they try to uh, they don't mention it's Pepsi, but look at it. It's fucking Pepsi. That can of that can of pea soda, I guess. Pea brand soda. It's pea good. Wait, no, that's that's terrible. Hell's he? Oh, there you are. Freaking jumpy bastard. I will come for you. I'll come for you later. Oh, good. Free gun. I gotta go let that son of a bitch out of the bathroom. Watch out for these one eyed, googly eyed bastards. I don't want to knock him into an evil clam. Door open. Yeah, that's right. I'm not coming down there. Screw you. <laughs> so long, sucker. There. I want that bear. <laughs> There's mine! Oh god! Little pushy son of a bitch. I'd shoot you if I didn't want to conserve the ammo. Alright, time to go find, find our friend in the blue jumpsuit. Kick his ass. Sleep! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I shot him and he just sort of laid down and decided to take a nap. <laughs> okay, as long as he, yeah, as long as he's not trying to kill me anymore. Ah, yes, and that annoying sound means I've just got an extra life. Which is good, because I'm probably going to need them. This, this game can get pretty hard at times, because, you know, one hit kill. Oh god, it gets even worse in, in uh, Keens 2 and 3 when you start getting, like, like, Vorda Ninjas and other crazy shit like that. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, you, you're gonna you're gonna get to see plenty of that shit later on. So, eh, I suppose we can fit in one more. It's, nope, I should probably save right now. Yeah, we'll take out this, this place right here. It is very blue. Oh, it's a lot of candy over there. It will be mine. <laughs> there's enough. There's enough freaking candy and soda and crap here. <laughs> the sugar rush alone will make will cause Keen to freaking blast off to the moon. <laughs> Isn't his freaking rocket? He's got plenty of sugar to get him home. Get back and build another one. And for some reason, someone has stacked a whole bunch of blue cylinders in here. We've entered the blue cylinder storage facility, I guess. Got the key, you can get through here. Stop this little bastard. Ooh, free ray gun. Is this me? Yes, it is. Hello. No. Bad. Oh, you little son of a. I need to kill him. Oh, Jesus. Try to bum merge me. <laughs> he's like. And now he's stuck in a permanent derp face. Bah. up here, and more green googly bastards. 
SW. Pizza. Is this somebody's brain? Is it a giant disembodied brain just sitting on the surface of Mars here? Oh, and there we have the second piece of the ship, the joystick. I'm mastering my joystick guy. No, wait. Uh, second thought. I doubt anyone will probably get that reference. <laughs> and another one of our blue jumpsuit friends. Oh god, he's learned to escape. I, I fear for my life. Oh god! And with good cause. Yeah, you lie down and take a nap. And once again, part of the level is on fire for some reason. Can't. Don't tell me I can't. I can too. Take a joystick, which most monitor gamers probably don't even know what it is. And get the hell out of here. Done! It sure is. Uh, yeah, we could probably find one more one more measly shrine. Which naturally is on fire for some reason. <laughs> and it's like for some reason they all, all the shrines in here it's like a requirement that they're on fire. And hell I don't even need to jump I don't even need, I don't even need to jump over the fire. I can just you know, get up here with the pogo stick. So <laughs> nice level design guys. <laughs> Teleporter in the ice, blah 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 blah, dark side of Mars. Good to know. Ah, that was short and pointless. And I think now is as good a time as any to wrap up the first episode, so... Yeah, I'm gonna save the game here. And I guess I'll catch you guys later. So take it easy, everyone.